Okay, so we're starting um, on a black screen, because I think something actually... We forgot to show something off um, last time, I believe. Um, apparently, if you wait longer on the ending screen, you get a picture of everyone looking happy with your character. Really? Yeah. Um, and after that, um, if the game will load up... Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, and then after that, this happens. Oh, it's you. Hi. It's kind of loud for my liking. By the way, I'm actually recording now. We are... We're doing the genocide run now. Um, and I'm planning to make this two separate, um... Uh, two separate playlists. If you have not watched the first one, I recommend you do that. Because we... Both of us have, pl have uh, seen the whole game at this point. Um, and this is going to be very spoiler heavy. And I actually prefer the pacifist run anyway, so... Yeah. Yep, and bro is playing this portion of the game. Yes, because it's really, really difficult. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. I'm being uh, with the power to erase everything. Everything uh, everyone's worked so hard, uh, hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from the from their, this timeline and sent back before it all ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, um, the, uh, the idea of resetting everything, I... I don't think I could do it all, all by myself, or all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But, if I can't change your mind, and you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You'll probably, you've already heard this a heard this hundred times, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Panda. Or, no, it's not Panda anymore, it's me. Yeah, you're changing it to Game Dog or whatever. Okay. So this is the Genocide Run, or Genocide Run. Yes. And Adam is gonna kill everyone. Yes, in the Genocide Run, you have a bad time, so to say. So we're gonna have to watch all the characters we know and love viciously get murdered. Okay, so a true reset, that's how you do this. By the way, there's something I found out that's kind of funny. What? Um... If you put in names of the actual characters, you get funny little dialogues. Get your own name! And she doesn't let you put an Undyne. <laughs> no, Undyne is leaving. Um, another one is, uh, another one I know. There are a few, there are like, there are like 20 of these. I'm Hi, not even Sans. joking. Hello, Sans. Nope. <laughs> nope. He's nope in it. Let's see, another one... We're having fun before we get sad. Yeah, yeah, I might as well show this off, because I don't think I'm going to have another opportunity. There's, there, there is one for Temmie. 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 Hoi! You can edit <laughs> this one, they do let you do. <laughs> um, let's see. Is it, uh... I'm pretty sure Alphys has one too. I think this one for like every major character. So bro, a few days ago, or at least like maybe an hour ago or so, I had Super War, so I looked at anime out of context. Yeah? And for some reason, Elfie showed up in the search <laughs> the, bar. Don't, don't do that. No, her face was just like between all like these out of context anime pictures. Yeah, the, um, the avatar for the out of context anime is Elfie's right now. It used to be Onion Sun for whatever reason. Um, and I don't know what it was before that because that's around when I, uh, when I subscribed to that one. When I wasn't, I wasn't even looking at the like Reddit, I looked it up in Google Images. Oh, no, I can only have six or seven. Which means I'm gonna have to do G-Dog. I hate it when I have to do this. Yay! G-Dog. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've had enough fun here. Yeah, time to get really sad. <coughs> Alright, welcome to horror and sadness. Alright. Now, the beginning is a l pretty much identical. Um... Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flower the Flower. Hmm. You're new to this side to the underground, aren't you? Yeah, I think this is all exactly the same because we did a true reset. Yeah. So I'm guessing it'll all be the same where I'll really be killing Flowey. 
Um, you'll you'll have to see. Okay, okay I know how, how all this works. Oh, there's something else I can show off here. I might as well take this opportunity to show off a bunch of stuff we haven't done before. What? Okay, so when Flowey um throws his little petals at you, you hit them. What happens if you just avoid them over and over again, though? So let's let's try to not catch them all. I just want. To... <laughs> What do you think's gonna happen? I, I already saw- you sh this is like the only clip you showed me before I started the game. <laughs> oh right, yeah, I did show you, you this. You missed dog. Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Nope. <laughs> nope. You're making him mad. Is that a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! <laughs> you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. <laughs> then he just does this anyway. Uh, as long as the second you touch that, yeah, I think Toriel interrupts. Yep, there she goes. Boom. All these characters I know and love. Death hmm. will become them. And you know, um, in the, uh, in the original Legend of Zelda, if you put in Zelda as your name, you get, like, a harder version of the game? Yeah. There's an Easter egg like that for um, for this game too. If you put Friskin as your name, huh. um, it makes the game harder from like enemies. However, it, it's only up until the Toriel fight. Hmm. I'm gonna get a little speed running for the first like half hour of this too. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you've seen this one. You've probably seen the last one. If not, you've probably seen some version of the Pacifist playthrough. Hmm. Yeah, I recommend you watch the Pacifist before this one. Yep. They also do like a bunch of funny subtle things um, for in, in hard mode. For example, um, shut up, Toriel. All right. Um, they uh, they they remove the the painting. The painting? <laughs> like uh, she painted arrows around it. You don't get that in hard mode. <laughs> but yeah, it actually is like a lot more difficult. The like the like um, for example, the first enemies, which are normally the frogs, are replaced with the like big ones you see at the end of the game. The king frogs. Or yeah. The the. The, yeah, the king frogs, whatever. Yeah. Um, there are a couple new enemies. I really want Toby Fox to, to expand hard mode a little bit. I think that's a really creative idea. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, one of my biggest problems with this game is that I really wish there were more boss fights. Okay, so here's the major difference between her run and my run. Everything dies. Okay. You know, to this day, I'm not sure if killing that dummy actually affects anything. Because you yeah. don't get experience for it, you don't get execution points. Yep, that was the big thing at the end of that. Hmm. And you get love points, lots of no, levels of violence. LOL, levels of love. I think if, um... <laughs> you won! Yeah, he's actually gonna start um, leveling up too. Yep. I'm not, you can't hear this, Aaron, but every time you kill an enemy, you hear Flowery laugh a little bit. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> the game's gonna really make you feel like a, like a jerk for doing this. So sad. Hmm. I found out a couple other Easter eggs with a dummy. Um, yeah. if you just spare it over and over again and not talk to or attack it, it'll go like, dummy has had enough of this and runs <laughs> off. <laughs> and yeah. the Toriel's like, wait a second. <laughs> Would you like to watch the end of this room by yourself? Hmm? <laughs> you have to walk alone now. Yeah. Don't worry, we believe in you. I heard there was someone on the forums who thought you actually had to stand there. <laughs> Just forever. Because I think in either this or in the next one she says that she'll be right back and he actually stayed there for like an hour. And he posted something to the Steam forums going, how long do I have to wait? No, no. Alright, now in the hallway of hallway. There's dialogue in this video game. I'm trying to not, um speed through too much, because I know there are subtle differences from time to time. Mm. But again, I, the first half hour is almost identical, except for the killing part. Yeah, please remain here. It's like, dangerous to explore by yourself. Someone actually did that. <laughs> but you have your cell phone now, yeah. so everything's all good. I'm not sure if calling actually, um, actually affects anything, but I found out that if you call her, you could have the choice to either call her mom, uh, say hi to her, or flirt with her. <laughs> Because you flirt with everything in this game. <clears throat> Alright. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> now, uh, first things first, I'm gonna need some healing items, so let's take a good monster candy. <clears throat> Alright. 
Oh, what, just one? Let's take another. Aw, uh, don't be a jerk. You took more candy. How disgusting. You take another piece, you feel like some- you feel like the scum of the earth. <laughs> Let's take another one. You took too much too fast, the candy spills onto the floor. Yeah. Look at what you've done. Take I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a lot of that, by the way. Just doing a lot of, uh, smaller things that Erin did not do. Either because she didn't know about them, or <clears throat> it's like two options and, uh, oh, okay. You won. Ooh, when are you gonna gain a level? I think I already have. Yeah, I'm level two. Or love, or love, level of violence two. I'm level two. Level. <laughs> level two. What did you pick? I picked butterscotch. I'm gonna pick cinnamon. Because I actually do really like butterscotch more. I... You know, I, I don't know, actually, what I like more or less. <coughs> oh, and in hard mode, it actually is a snail pie that she makes. Really? A snail pie? <laughs> and it heals you for all health except one. <laughs> hmm. One small problem I do have with the Genius Side Run is that, um, what the... You don't have any allergies, do you? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. I don't think you got that. Mm, huh. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I did. We probably did. Let's see if I can do this on my first try. Oh. No. <laughs> I have played... I have seen too much of this game. <laughs> if I can Ooh, do that, I almost... Like sitting in the, um, in the game it's, chair. it's big. It's weird. Oh, this guy can actually, uh, live a hit. Okay. Well, I have 24 health now, so... Hmm. You can probably, uh, it's probably obvious, but, um, depending on, uh, how, um... Oh. Okay, that's what... Yeah, that's what you do. Depending on how? Uh, depending on how close you are to the center of that, the more damage it does. You can probably yeah. assume that, though. Oh, all of the... But you could just talk to them, we should just become one. You know, I think you can still play with them, as long as you don't spare anything, you don't mess up your chances. But I'm gonna kill everything anyway, because, um... One small problem I do have with the Genocide Run is that it gets a little grindy at times, because, um... You can actually run out random encounters by killing so much. Um, and you have to do that in order to get the true Genocide. So it gets a little bit grindy, unfortunately. I might actually have to do a few things off screen. Okay. Can you get critical hits in this game? No, you can't. Alright, lovely. I love the loveliness. Every encounter does count as a encounter, though, so that was three right there. Out of like, maybe like 40 I have to get in this zone, so that does help. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's the rock. Yeah. It's the one in four rocks. One in five? One in five. By the way, watch my character when it moves up. It moves up with it. Yeah, I think we noticed that last time, too. Something tells me, like, it's, um... You know, I, I was watching someone play through this game, and he had a... Oh my goodness, okay. He had a really good observation. The game appears to increase in quality the farther you get into it. Yeah, it does. Because, um, like, early on everything is static, later on you get, like actual, like, moving enemies and stuff like that. Um, then, like, a lot of the puzzles, the tile sets, like, this is pretty simple right here. Napstabluke! Oh, right, I'm gonna have to kill Napstabluke. Okay. Uh, he is <laughs> the best, though. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it hurts. Let's see if I can do this without taking a hit. I think you gotta, like, go slowly to the left. He's yeah, like that. He's crying at you, Adam. Happy I'm fine, voice. thanks. He's really not feeling up to it. <laughs> you don't actually get a hit an um, a hit sound of him, I just noticed. Huh. Like, you usually get, like, a crunching sound when you smash an enemy. That doesn't happen with Napster Blue. I just noticed that. Well, he is a ghost. He's a ghost. He is a ghast. Oh, this one. A ghastly. A ghostly. I did that. Right. Um... You do know I can't- you can't kill a ghost, right? We're sort of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Sorry. 
I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. Napster Bloop, you're the best. You lost one experience point. <laughs> oh, he's the best. Oh, can I buy some items? I don't think I need it this early, though. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. Are you gonna help the snowman? Are you gonna make the snowman very happy? Oh boy, uh, one second. My friend never listens to me. When I talk, they skip through my words by pressing the X button. That's right, for pressing X. He's mashing X. I'm mashing X, because I think you do get something. Oh, not you too. There we go. Are you gonna be nice to the snowman? I no, um, I'm not gonna be nice to anyone. Um, you can use F4 to go to full screen. Now notice this right here. Four frogs. I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. I found out that um, if you like scale the wall, there's an ant-sized frog in the crack in the wall. There are four frogs in this room. It waves at you. <laughs> Yay! I love frogs. Uh, they're so frogly. You skipped one! No! I don't need to talk to them. Aw, oh, but you'll feel left out now. Or are you just gonna be a jerk to everyone? I am gonna be a jerk to everyone. That's what you do in this run. Welcome to Game Dog as a jerk. Not often I do this, because I usually try to play a nice guy. Oh, wait, the armor I want. Whee. I'm not gonna deal with Naps to Luke anymore, but um, I just want this. I think I'm gonna kill this enemy too while I'm here. <laughs> uh. Oh. There we go. That's better. Okay. Eat your veggies. Fresh morning taste! Ooh, ooh. Why is there a banana there? <laughs> it's not a vegetable. A banana isn't a vegetable. Farmed locally! A banana is actually a berry? What? Yeah, I actually remember that a banana Why is a banana a berry? Oh, I leveled up. My love increased. Cause science is wacky! Level. Hmm. There's a switch again, isn't it down here? Nah, it's the other one. But do you have another Vegetoid? Might as well. Die. Die, monster. You don't belong in this You know what I find kind of hilarious about this? What? You may be more qualified to do this than I am. Cause I've only seen playthroughs up to this point. <laughs> You see, I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. <laughs> By the way, did you see his, um, his text was yellow there? No. Uh, really? There's a hidden third way to kill enemies that like never comes up, and that is, is if you, um, if you damage an enemy enough, they might not want to fight anymore. Uh, like they might start begging you for mercy, and you can grant it to them. That's like a third way to kill monsters, but I don't do it. I don't think anyone does. They just spare it or, or kill them. The He's asking me to not bully him. I'm sorry. Don't bully me. Please don't pick on me. <laughs> Alright, pumpkin from Monster Party. Yeah. <laughs> you saw the Derek Alexander review I sent you, right? Yeah, I did. I love that review. That's so good. <clears throat> Monster Party is a weird game. I like that, I like that game a lot. Have you ever heard of Action 52 Rocks? I know what Action 52 is. Um, if you can read this. Press the reds, okay. Action 52 Rocks is a fan game, um, in which, um... I'm a gosp. In which, um, they basically recreate every single, um, every single, uh, game from that, but they're, like, good. <laughs> really, like, graphics and all? Yeah, yeah. Like, they had, like, it was a small project a little while ago. I'm not sure if it was complete or anything, but... They make some of those games look fun. Like, they take some of those really weird concepts and actually make something interesting out of them. Like, it's a million space shooters that it has? Well, okay. Action of the Two is most It does have a lot of space shooters yes, in it. everything is a space shooter. And then you have Cheetah Man. But yeah, they, they like, upgrade it so it looks like a modern-day indie game, which is kind of cool. <laughs> you see, fans, you guys are beautiful sometimes. Yeah. I'm saying that because the, while Monster Party is not a bad game by any means, it's just kind of aged poorly, but, um... <clears throat> I kind of want to see someone do a somewhat of a remake of it. Like, I just want to see, like, an HD version of, like, all the bosses or stuff like that, if that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> oh, by the way, Toy Knife. I actually use that, so let's go grab it real quick. Hurry. Come, Toy Knife. Oh, 
nice. Okay. Um. Let's continue on. It's not gonna, you're not going to be able to understand why it's more difficult until later. I'll say that much. I'm guessing that the boss battles will be a bit harder. Yeah, a few of them are. But it's the kind of thing in which, um, there really aren't that many bosses in this, um, mode, but they're the most difficult things of all time, is how it is. I'm guessing you're still going to fight, like, the people who I fought. Yeah, yeah. Just some of them go, go, go into pissy boss mode, for lack of a better term. <laughs> Okay, then, good luck. Hmm. I wish you luck in advance. Okay. Do you really? No. <laughs> I actually want you to die. At one point, I'm just gonna slap your hand away from the keyboard. Oh, I'm like, going to die a lot. I'm gonna slap your hand away from the keyboard to protect my friends. Oh, oh, okay, here comes some of the first, um, the first major differences. Well, not major differences, but, like, noticeable differences. I think if you examine some things as this character, the stove top is very clean, Toriel must use fire- okay. There's some way... Huh. I could have sworn in one of these, um, it was like, where are the knives? Where are the knives? Where are the knives? Because <clears throat> you have a knife. You have a toy knife. Aww. So cute. <laughs> the first time I went through this, you were creeped out by Toriel. Yes! <laughs> of course I was. I love her now, but gosh, is she a little creepy. This... okay. Oh, the music changes when you turn the lights off. I never noticed that. Hmm. Okay, grab that. This is actually important. Because, <laughs> again, a full heal. That's a full heal. I'm gonna keep that until the final boss, basically. It's you! And the past restaurant says, it's me. I don't know what that means, but, um, it's a difference. Maybe it's disdaining yourself from the character. You know, it, probably. Alright, everything's gonna get all sad in here. Hmm. I think the differences really start when, uh, if we get, um, ha uh, to the Toriel fight. Okay. Because again, like I said, the first, like, half hour is almost identical, except for, like, small text things. Oh wait, I didn't kill all the enemies in the zone. Okay. I'm about to do that real quick. Alright, do you want to cut that out and resume in a moment? Um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but... How do you know when you kill everything? When, uh, when you go to a save point... Wait, wait, wait. It might actually be happening now. No. Okay. Hmm. I think eventually you get text that says, like... 12 left. 10 left. That's when you know you're about to kill everything. Okay. So, we will see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> 